I'm going to do a little demo of looking for a video and a podcast. I am going to keep my errors in this. This is from um, module three. And here I say, hey, why don't you use the direct link? You can also go to Google and select this. But here we go. Let's go to Google videos. Understand that um, YouTube is not the only place that videos are. You also have places like Vimeo. We have TED Talks, all sorts of wonderful places that put out videos, even Khan Academy. How do you find those? This is one of the great ways to look for it. So I'm going to go, I'm not sure I'm going to be a specific, uh, be able to use rather a specific search here for this, but I'm going to give it my best try. And uh, my two main topics are this, and I'm coming here. Look, I have something from National Academies. I have something from a .edu, that's an education site. That's probably gonna be high on the credibility list. This is from a .org. I probably need to look at the about statement, but it's probably something awesome as well. Very high, likely, on the credibility. Again, um, .orgs, this is YouTube. I would need to figure out who it's from, but I wanna show you something else that's really cool here. Um, let's see if it's tools. Look, so if you're looking for a video and you need it for a presentation or just to do it for this, you can pick durations. Yes, when I was putting together videos for this, I actually use this quite a deal, quite a, quite frequently rather. So you can actually pick durations if you need something. You could actually look for something that's put up in the past week if you're really looking for something very very, very current. Um, if you're trying to show it on a huge screen in front of a bunch of people, you might want some high quality. That is something you always need. You can always look specifically for closed captioned, and you can pick some different sources that it lists out. It probably went through and pulled out some of the top ones, and I can find things from a .gov and more .orgs in this looks like it's going to be from one of the national medical libraries or something like that. So it could be really quite awesome. Now, when you go to this, you're going to be looking for very specific things. You're going to look for, first of all, the video is going to be inside this page. You want to know who created it. You want to know when it was put up and things of that nature. So this sometimes ends up being something you leave out because it's not available. But here we figure out that this is something called open notes so that would be our author open notes helps care patients partners advocate we would know the title of this we also are going to look for a date and on this there's going to be no date now you'll see this has a couple of videos you will want to use the url and the information specific to the video you're using. But if you've used everything on the page, you're going to use it as a website. For this particular assignment, I would like you to put together something on the video itself. You'll see here that it looks like it may be on YouTube, but you'll be able to find the URL here and perhaps other information if you go to this URL. Let's click through. Because right now, we don't know the date. So I'm going to hit pause so you don't have to hear it. And here we have the date. So now we have a title, we have a creator, and a date, and a URL. So we could use all these pieces for our citation. And these are the pieces you'll gather for the project. You look for the person who created it. You're going to find that title. You're going to find out the URL. And as possible, you're going to find out the date it was created, and if that is not available to you, put in a for not available at this time, just as a placeholder. So I hope that makes sense and helps you out. You can also go to Vimeo.com. Ted, I think Ted has its own website as well. You can search those if you're trying to find an uplifting piece. Um, sometimes they're not always great with current events, but I hope you see how this is a very helpful search because it gets you out of your echo chamber, gets you out of the first listing of the first bunch of different types of videos on that first page. Remember, people don't leave that first page. 97% of the people never get quite past those pieces. And there, I would not have this piece that shows me that there's a program out there that teaches people how to advocate for healthcare literacy. And they're talking about 
I'm not sure how they're going to talk about COVID. And here I would ask this question like how it came up, but it must be in the text of the other thing. So if I was using this for research, I would probably use the page and not the video. But that's part of the research process. Sometimes we find pieces of things that lead us to the larger part that we use. So totally valid. So make sure you have those pieces for this. The next thing we're going to look at will be for a podcast. Now you can do this a number of ways and you probably do it already, but there's something I want your podcast to have. These are two apps that you can use to of course find podcasts. I'm going to use Listen Notes because it looks okay on my uh, desktop. I'm going to type in COVID-19. Listen Notes is supposed to be the Google of podcasts. We're about to see if this is true. I'm going to put in health literacy and see what comes up. This is going to have episodes, podcasts. I may also find curated list already on it. And I see here, this did not have any hits. So I'm going to go to my broader topic. Um, if it's more specific, start taking out the specific words. Um, this is how to avoid. This talks about Sweden. Um, they've taken a very different approach to um, dealing with the pandemic. Uh, this has to do with the protest. More Sweden. I'm going to go for podcasts themselves that may have COVID in the title. Those were just the episodes. And this is a Q&A by Journal of American Medical Association Network. So that should probably be pretty high on um, credibility. You can see it's all in these different places. And let's see what happens when I go to get to it. Um, I see all this information. I see the different uh, episodes. I'm going to see it has community based around it. Let's kind of look at it a little bit more. As I've looked around, I determined that this service actually sort of... Um, uses a feed and, and it brings in these different podcasts. So it's not going to give me the, the show notes or the resources that I want to have it with it. And it's going to allow me to do a lot of things. In fact, if you're doing a presentation, create clip downloads and other things would be very useful for you. But this may not be exactly what I want for our podcast because I don't know what you resources were used or the show notes. I can't get to them. But if I go to the place that holds it, I might be able to find it. So I'm going to try some other approach. And my approach is SoundCloud. What I did was go in and do a search on COVID-19 and healthcare literacy. And I came up and I found the Worldview, a foreign affairs broadcast put out by the Irish Times. I'm able to go into the actual Irish Times itself. I feel that it's linked to a credible organization and it gives me a place to go to that I can look for the transcript and other information should I need to do so. But here we go. Let me go back to show you how I found that. I went up here and did COVID-19 podcast so I could find the podcast. And this is the list I came up with. Already I see that the Irish Times came up first. And in many of the pieces, and I'm seeing more of you. Then we have a COVID-19 broadcast. It's coming out of Thailand. We're going to see what this looks like. When we come to this page, we see that they've only put up one thing. They have three followers. They put this up three months ago. Um, part of this is in a language I personally can't read. If you can, you might have found it usable. I don't have a link to another site or way to go to try to find show notes or transcript or other information. So for this, this podcast would be a total no. And are show notes important? Yes. Are resources important? Yes, even when we look at different places, looking at best practices for podcasts, absolutely, show notes are important. They're so important, you'll find pages and pages of how to write terrific ones. And usually, the podcast should be anchored to another site, another page, or an author, or a larger, larger organization that takes responsibility for these things. So, make sure when you look at the podcast, you're looking at the creators, the credibility of the creators, you need to find the name of the podcast, 
also of the episode of the podcast you're using. If you can find it, find that date that it was published and also have a URL to provide for those people who want to follow in the footsteps of your research. And I hope that kind of lights up how we're going to be using videos and podcasts at the highest level of academic research and looking at it, understanding it, and making sure that it's an ethical, credible source.